Janelle, I want to talk about one of the sexiest topics in startups. Oh, what is it? Taxes. Oh gosh, no. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most important tax benefits for founders and investors in U.S. startups, which is qualified small business stock or more commonly referred to as QSBS. Eric, let's start by defining what QSBS is all about. Cool, I'm happy to take a crack at answering this, but before I do, I highly recommend that founders speak to a tax accountant to understand QSBS fully. Janelle and I are not tax advisors, nor providing any tax advice with this Uncapped Notes episode. Okay, so now that we got that legal boilerplate out of the way again, what the heck is QSBS? Well, QSBS is a really favorable tax treatment for U.S. startup founders and investors. Now, there are a bunch of nuances here, but basically, if you are a Delaware C Corp company, and your company has assets of less than $50 million when you formed, and that would include the amount of cash that you raised at the time of inception, it's quite likely that you as a founder, as well as your investors, can get super favorable tax treatment if your startup eventually IPOs or is acquired after five years. I think that the vast majority of US startups likely qualify for QSBS. Okay, what do you mean by super favorable tax treatment? So the laws change a bit from year to year, but in some cases you might be partially or fully exempt from paying any federal taxes upon acquisition or IPO. Again, this applies to you as the founder, your investors, and possibly even your early employees. And when I mean by exempt, that means you don't pay them. Wow, so no federal taxes, really? Yeah. But again, talk to your tax advisor. They will understand the nuances more. Okay, so how do you actually take advantage of these QSBS benefits? Are they automatically granted to founders, employees, and investors? Oh, heck no. And this is what the trap is. If you're granted shares of the company as a founder or investor or even as an employee, you have 30 days upon your share issuance to file what is known as an 83B election with the IRS. How do you do this? Really? You just got to Google it. Just Google 83B election and find instructions online from the IRS on how to file. Now, the good news is that it's pretty simple. It's like a one to two page document. There's not too much complexity behind it, but you need to send this into the IRS. They will stamp that document and send it back to you. And that stamp is important because it starts the clock on your QSBS benefits. And again, you get this benefit if the startup doesn't sell or IPO for five years, but it only applies to those startups who get liquidity after five years. So you want to start that clock early. And if you are part of a startup at the early stages, there is a decent chance that you'll be holding those shares for at least five years anyway, before you make that money. So why haven't we heard about this before? The answer is that no one tells you this stuff. You don't really take a class in this in fifth grade to learn about QSBS or even in college. For example, in my first startup, I had no idea that QSBS existed. So I didn't file an 83B election with the IRS and I've ended up paying a lot of taxes that were unnecessary as a result when my startup got acquired. <laughs> Oh, Eric, I am crying for you right now. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I deserve that sarcasm. Okay, so in this Uncapped Notes episode, we introduce the concept of QSBS and 83B elections. We didn't go very deep into the details on the mechanics of these unique tax laws. That is a conversation you need to have yourself with an expert. Yeah, that's right, Janelle. Uh, but now that you have these terms in mind, we hope that this plants a seed for your asking the right questions with tax professionals and eventually saving a ton of money on taxes on your side 
when your company gets acquired or IPOs. Are there any other tax optimizations you figured out as a founder or investor? All of us are curious, so please share in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to Uncapped Notes. Thank you.